Making a switch can be off-putting, even when that change is good for us. The newness is discombobulating. Wouldn't it be great if the new thing could be a little like the old thing? Well, with a switch to Gmail, there are a few things you can do to ease the unease. Let's look at how you can make Gmail seem a little more Outlook while you get used to the change. Six steps to Outlookify Gmail. If you have been working in Outlook, you are probably used to using the reading pane that Outlook offers as a default. The reading pane allows the user to view the contents of a message without opening the actual message. This can be helpful for the user to determine the urgency of a message and overall gives the user more information to hand in the inbox view. The view pane can be located at the side or the bottom of the inbox. Gmail provides a more succinct sneak peek of a mail by way of a snippet. These are also default and these allow the user to preview somewhere around 40 to 50 characters of an email. Like the preview pane, this can help determine the urgency of an email by affording the user more information in the inbox view. For example, I can see if this is a detailed email or simply an acknowledgement of receipt. Let's take a quick look at how to replicate the Outlook default. From Quick Settings, go to Reading Pane and select whether you would like it to be below or to the right of the inbox. Then click on See All Settings, scroll right down to Snippets and click No Snippets to hide the Gmail snippets. Click Save Changes. Now in your inbox, when you click on an email, you can see your Reading Pane. Outlook has a setting for grouped messages, but it's not a default. However, if you have been using this function, it does have the same basic functionality as Gmail Conversation View. Gmail defaults to Conversation View, but this function is easily deactivated from Quick Setting. But before we switch it off, let's have a quick look at why Google thinks it deserves a default setting. Conversation View gives perspective by grouping related emails together from newest to oldest. The reader can then understand the context of an individual email, especially if they have missed a few emails in between. If you like an organized inbox, threaded conversations mean that you won't have to star or label each email as it arrives in the inbox to keep a record of the conversation. Conversation view can be the marmite of the email world. So if it's not for you, pop into quick settings, scroll to the bottom and untick conversation view. Outlook loves a skinny email, defaulting to a compact display density. Outlook also offers a cozy density, which increases the white space around the email. Or you could select roomy, which gives lots of white space, but coupled with a reading pane can significantly limit the amount of emails you can view in the inbox. Gmail also has three density settings available. If you'd like to mimic Outlook, the compact density will provide the least white space. Gmail also offers Comfortable, which is similar to Outlook's medium option. Finally, Gmail's default density, which will not increase the white space any further, but will give visibility on attachments attached in the email. To mimic Outlook, pop into Quick Settings and select Compact. If you've been working in Outlook for some time, you might have got into the habit of using the shortcuts available as default. In Gmail, you can activate the keyboard shortcuts to start using this feature. In addition, you can customize the shortcuts to suit you. From the settings cog, select See All Settings. Scroll down to Keyboard Shortcuts and simply tick Keyboard Shortcuts On. Remember to scroll to the bottom of the page and click save to save your changes. Here are some of the common shortcuts in Outlook and their alternatives in Gmail. Perhaps you would like to map these a little closer. So let's look at how you can customize your Gmail shortcuts. From your settings cog, go to see all settings. We're now going to go to advanced settings and enable custom keyboard shortcuts. Clicking the enable button will turn this on now, if we return to our settings menu, 
we can now see that we have a new tab for keyboard shortcuts. Here you can add your alternative keyboard shortcuts. Outlook defaults to a focused inbox, which uses machine learning to understand users' behaviours, sorting important email into the focus tab and other mail into the other tab. This feature can be disabled. If this feature was a favourite of yours, fear not. Gmail's default inbox works in much the same way, sorting email based on incoming email domains and user behaviour. When it learns your preferences, Gmail will sort person-to-person -person email into the primary tab, messages that appear to be from social media sites are sorted into the social tab, and marketing emails will find their way into the promotions tab. The nice thing about the category tab in Gmail is that you can individually deactivate any that are not relevant. Let's have a look at this. From the settings tab, click see all settings. Access the inbox tab and here you can see the inbox type and the categories available. I'm going to untick social and save my changes. Your inbox should now be feeling a little more recognisable. To save space in the inbox, Gmail uses a lot of icons, unlike Outlook which uses an icon text combination. Pop into general settings and scroll to the button options. Select text and don't forget to save your changes. You will now see your buttons appear as text. These small changes should help you feel a little more at home in Gmail while you acclimate to the Google Workspace. Welcome aboard!